video uh, about uh, using uh, front awesome icon or any icon on react native so if you are uh, from a web background uh, you are mostly familiar with the front awesome cdn and this all this type of uh, icon name but how to implement this on react native so to do that i'm showing this uh, you can see there's a dashboard in here so uh, i'm assuming that you already know about a component and using a file and importing components in react native so i'm just gonna jump into the section where i'm gonna show you how to install uh, this vector icon uh, in the uh, react native project so first of all to use the react native vector icon in react native all you have to go uh, you have to do is uh, first of all you have to install it uh, dependency and for that I'm gonna give you a sort uh, few kind of link you can follow so first of all uh, go to your terminal and then install the uh, vector icon using a command and the command is npm install project as native native vector icons then save if you don't know meaning of save and uh, what does this uh, even if uh, if you uh, do perform it without this save it will install the vector icon in your project but what this save does is uh, it will add this vector icon dependency to your uh, app package or json so what it does is uh, whenever you use install npm install it will all install all the packages mentioned in here here dependency so if you want your project uh, your package to be included in your packet or json you have to do it dot save so this is the best practice so you should follow this as well so after doing that do this on terminal then it will install your package vector icon in your project and it will be appear in here in react native vector icon so current version of vector, vector icon is 8.0 so this is what is here showing here so after that go to your but uh, uh, you think uh, it will be easier and I think it will work but it will not work in uh, right here there is an additional process so after that go to Android app then SRC folder then main then create a folder named asset then create a folder named front fonts so, so remember the path app SRC main asset and fronts I'm showing this for Android platform so for iOS there is a, another way so this is a, this way is only work in Android platform so for Android platform to work uh, this uh, vector icon in React Native you have to go to app so src main create a folder name assets then create a folder name fronts then after doing that go to your node module Not model, not model. Uh, wait a minute, it's hard to find in here. Yeah, go to your note model, then vector icon. Where is it? Picture, picture icon, picture icon, picture icon. Is picture icon. Oh, wait a minute. The uh, React Native picture icon. So go to this uh, node module, React Native picture icon folder. Then go to fronts. Select all the four uh, fronts. Then copy it and paste it to your Android app SRC main then inside the folder you created asset and following fronts and inside front paste all the uh, all the fronts that you have copied from node module fronts directory so after that it should work right so
so but it's still not work so all so if you are following any other uh, wave forums or tutorial on youtube what they is what they are not telling you is that they are telling the process still here but it will not work because whenever you go to your for example my uh, component name file name is this picture icon and i am i'm showing the home page home home icon here let me show home as you can see and when if i want to change it to user user is changing its user oh wait a minute sometimes take time so here's a user so what is the size it will do is it is the size for your icon and this is for this is your color what happened my virtual my model just crashed oh wait a minute <clears throat> sorry for uh, that my uh, my this emulator just crashed so i don't know what the reason was uh, but i will look into that so so this is a size of your icon and this is a hex code for a color so as you can see it's fading so if you want to change like arrow Why is taking so long man? I don't know. Yes, sorry. Arrow then a left right left. As you can see it's working. So the problem was another tutorial will show you how to install what I just did but what they don't tell you is even you do all the process it will not show icon in here. Instead it will just show it as this and to solve this all you have to do is restart your server using command npx redact native run dash android so after doing that your vector icon will be showing on your screen so that's it for this video thank you so much for sticking with me keep coding